Hello, Stephen Dean speaking. Now, a friend very recently told me that one of my videos reminded him of Plato's allegory of the cave, that great philosophical tale. Um, it does, actually. I saw his point once. I looked at my video once again. And it very, very, um, very much relates to the teachings of The Course in Miracles. And in the light of that, I think I'd like to tell the tale of the allegory of the cave for those who may not be aware of this great tale. Anyway, it concerns three prisoners who are in a cave and they've been there for as long as they can remember. Their heads are fastened so they can only see forwards and on the wall in front of them are shadows cast by a fire behind them. And in front of this fire, though behind them, men and animals walk past it on a bridge. And all they can see, the prisoners can see that is, are the dancing shadows in front of them. Now, as they've been there forever and a day, they know nothing else but these shadows. So to them, these shadows have become their world, and they discuss these shadows between themselves, looking forward to certain things appearing each day and whatever, and to them, they were the world. Now, one day, one of these prisoners escapes. He manages to get loose and finds a staircase and goes upstairs and finds himself in the sunlight. He sees the trees and the grass and the sun, and he sees people walking about, and he sees animals, and he realises that the shadows downstairs are nothing compared to what this actual paradise is upstairs. And he's so amazed that he runs back downstairs again and starts telling the other prisoners about this paradise he's seen upstairs. Now, they, in their shadow land, where they've remained, can't believe him. It seems too fantastical that there should be a world beyond this one. And after a while, they refuse to believe him at all. And they actually begin talking about killing him. No matter what they think, though, upstairs, that world is still there. And that one man now knows of it. He can try and convince them, but try and describe it is beyond his, beyond his capabilities. For that world is there. And for the other two, they'll never know about it. Now, doesn't that relate to A Course in Miracles, teaching us that there is a world beyond this? At the moment, we can't see, but there is a way if we believe, if we have faith. And if we have faith, we will awaken to it in the same way that the, that the prisoner escaped eventually found his way upstairs. And that's the tale. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much. I'll see you.